An important chord progression to memorize is the circle progression. It goes three, six, two, five, one. And here's what it sounds like. Three, six, two, five, one. If you notice, there are no two minor chords or two major chords that are next to each other in this progression, so we need a new way to identify it. We need to look at chord qualities and letter names. Let's look at the qualities first. It's best to look at this progression from the end to the beginning. It normally always ends on the one chord, which is major, and that's preceded by the five chord, which is also major. Now the two, six, and three chords, those are all minor. So if you see a chord progression that ends on a major chord with a major chord before for it and there's any number of these minor chords before that it could be a circle progression now the letter names of a circle progression move through the circle of fourths and here it is c f b e a d g all flats b e a d g and g flat is f sharp let's look at this order in a line it is best to memorize this but if you need to you can write it down on something that you're analyzing so let's look at the qualities of this chord progression it ends on a major chord with a major chord right before it now there are two minor chords before that so it could be a circle progression let's look at the letter names so it starts on f sharp which is here in the order of fourths then we have b minor and the root of b minor is b which is after F sharp, then we have E, which is after B, and A, which is after E. So the chord qualities and the letter names match up. This is a circle progression. Now here is a full circle progression, and we only have four chords, so we do not have the three chord. We have a six, two, five, one. So the first chord, F sharp, that's the six. The second chord, B minor, is the two. The next chord, E major, is the five. And the last chord, A, is one. And the letter name of the one chord is also the letter name of the key. So this is in the key of A major.